I know there's been a lot of talk already and a lot of coverage on the marathon. I just wanted to touch base yes. with you on it because you guys were down there. Yes. Did a special broadcast. It looked like the whole marathon went uh, perfectly. Yeah. And uh, people really turned out and really enjoyed it. It was so much fun. Just, I mean, I stood at the finish line there for a few hours. I was mentioning this on Sunday. And it's so inspiring just to see so many people come through. And not just the runners. I know 12,000 strong ran it. But all the people lining the streets and cheering everyone on. And good going again to our own Jeff King. He ran uh, no a very great time for the half marathon. Really? As well as our news director and his wife so good Excellent. stuff yes All right. not talking marathon okay. we're talking a little bit of olympics thank you very much scott and we're now just 10 months away from the london olympics which means it's a busy season on the water for canada's olympic rowing team the team trains in victoria at elk lake and as mike walker shows us one victoria product is hoping to lead the way to the podium it's a picturesque start to the training day for canadian rower lindsay jenerick the Victoria native is back on the water at Elk Lake for the first time in months. <laughs> we, we ease into it, which, well, we are compared to what we're used to doing, but um, even the lower volume is pretty, pretty rough on the body when it's your first week back. I try to do a good job staying in shape over the break, but it's always really, really hard to mimic the training that we do. Jenerik and her Canadian teammates are coming off a strong performance at the World Championships in Bled, Slovenia in late August, including a silver medal from Jenerik's lightweight women's doubles boat. We had an alternate in the boat, Patricia Obi, and so it was a last minute change due to the fact that Tracy Cameron got a stress fracture about four weeks away. So a silver medal is pretty special, um, knowing that Patricia and I were able to pull, pull it together that quickly and still perform that highly with uh, an alternate in the boat. It shows that Canada has some great depth. And now the 27-year-old is hoping to parlay world championship success into a medal on the Olympic stage. Uh, we have some really great crews and a lot of medal potential crews. So no matter who's in there next year, we're really in contention for at least a podium finish. Uh, I just try not to take any row for granted because this is very likely <clears throat> my last 10 months of rowing in, in my life competitively, so uh, I want to make every, every use of every stroke. But with retirement on the horizon, Jenerick's rowing future is still very much to be determined. I think the result might help make me decide what happens. Um, I have no problem going to London, winning a gold medal and ending it on that note, <laughs> um, but that's uh, very obviously not something you can count on or it's not a guarantee so anything less than that I well I'd like not to think about that <laughs>